Good day once again, ladies and gentlemen. And um, we are looking at question nine this time around uh, from the Gauteng prelim. All right, as we continue to remind ourselves of those important concepts as we uh, prepare towards, you know, the final exams. Right, so um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please just make sure you are part of the family. Just hit that subscribe button. Eh, eh, stop being lazy. Just hit that subscribe button, okay? Right, and then uh, for those of you who need assistance with mathematics or physical science, please, you can just uh, contact uh, myself uh, at uh, the email address is info at mlungesinkosi dot co dot za. All right, now let's quickly just uh, jump into that question. So this has to do with electrodynamics. Okay, uh, so uh, looking at it, uh, they're giving us that uh, structure there. Okay, and we can see there's our magnets and, you know, there's our armature there. Okay, so they're asking, is this an AC or a DC generator? Okay, so looking at it, can you see part B there? Uh, those are split rings or what we call our commutators, right? So in this case, uh, this tells us that sh this should be a DC generator, okay? So we know that 9.1, that should be a DC generator, okay? Uh, so that's DC. And uh, 9.2, they want a reason for that. Uh, you can say, well, the reason is because of, uh, either you can say because of part B um, or because, uh, you know, there are split rings, uh, uh, split rings, or you can even say because of the presence of commutators, right? All right, so uh, either one of that you can use as an answer. And then they say write down the name of part A, uh, part A, which is this guy over here. Okay, we call it the armature, all right? Uh, in this case, we call that the armature. This is the part that rotates. And in some instances, they do even call it the rotor. Um, um, yeah, uh, but I, I prefer the name armature. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so... Uh, so that's 9.3. We know that's going to be the armature. Okay. I don't even know if I've uh, spelled that correctly, but yeah, that's another story for another day. Okay. So um, 9.4, we want to describe the energy conversion that takes place in this generator. Remember, uh, by virtue of it being a generator, right, it converts mechanical energy uh, to electrical energy. So Remember, we are moving from uh, mechanical energy to electrical energy. I'm lazy to write all of it uh, uh, out, but I'm sure you quite understand. Right, so 9.5, uh, we're looking at, uh, they say the maximum EMF generated um, is 15 volts. They say draw the sketch graph of EMF versus uh, versus time for one and a half cycles of this generator. Okay, so uh, remember that for a DC generator, now we're going to draw the instantaneous graph of uh, voltage against time, right? Um, for DC generator, for AC, remember that you, you it would alternate, right? But for DC, um, the graph would look something like this. So this would be a full uh, cycle. Right. But they said we should do that in one and a half cycle. So in this case, this would be the kind of graph that I'd have. This is time uh, in seconds. This would be a voltage or you can say the EMF. Right. Um, this is in volts. OK. Uh, and that's what our graph would look like. Uh, they said uh, maximum of 15. So I know that this maximum would be 15 over there. And this is what our graph would look like, right? Uh, and then they say specify. Um, okay, yeah, I think that's that's it. Okay, they say the specifications of a professional hair dryer are as follows. So we are done with that theoretical part. Now we're moving into the calculations. Okay, so they give us there, um, you know, uh, 2,100 2, watts and an AC motor of 240 volts. Now, please note, the moment that they give you um, a power rating like that, okay, so the power rating is usually accompanied with the 
uh, with the RMS voltage, okay? Because already you can see we've got AC here, all right? So it's usually accompanied with the RMS voltage. So now they say to you define RMS for alternating voltage, okay? Uh, yeah, I don't like those explanations, but nonetheless, um, so we say the, the RMS voltage, okay, um, essentially it's the uh, um, equivalent, okay, of the DC voltage um, source. More specifically, um, so we say it's the DC current or potential difference, right, which Specif uh, which dissipates, by the way, uh, the same amount of um, uh, energy, uh, dissipates the same amount of energy as AC. So that's the definition. I'm just lazy to write that one out again. Uh, so you will just da da da. Okay. So remember that it's the DC equivalent, right? As I said, as I was trying to explain there. So it's the DC equivalent uh, uh, of the AC power. So in this case, uh, just the explanation of it, just remember, it dissipates the same amount of energy as AC. Right, now let's go to the next question, okay? Uh, they say, what is the uh, RMS voltage of the of, of this hair dryer okay so obviously you are given uh, that 240 volts there so you know that the RMS value should actually be just V RMS is 240 remember I said when you're given that power rating and there's a voltage next to it uh, usually we are given unless they specifically said this is maximum but uh, in, uh, in 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 most instances instances rather you are given that uh, uh, VRMS all right and let's go to the last one okay so they say the voltage uh, oh, sorry calculate the maximum current that flows through uh, the hair dryer so remember you've got power you've got VRMS and remember that power okay we use P average so that's the average power there okay that's v rms multiplied by i rms okay that should be a straightforward calculation so that's 2100 watts okay you've got um your voltage is at 240 and we know this is multiplied by i rms and um, i think uh, you can see how that cookie crumbles right so that's divide by 240 and we're given 8.75, and so that gives us the RMS. Uh, I RMS would be equals to 8.75 MPS, okay? But remember they said they wanted the maximum, okay? So I need to convert that uh, RMS value uh, to maximum, but I know that I RMS is simply equals to I max, okay divided by square root of 2 all right so if i want uh, i max all i simply do is multiply that rms value by root 2 and i find i max okay i'm going to take 8.75 and multiply that by the square root of 2 and i get my maximum value to be 12.7 at uh, 12.37 okay so my i max value is 12.8 37. You can just verify that. Remember that's in amperes. Okay, uh, so my value there is 12.37. Uh, that would be in amperes, right? And essentially, ladies and gents, that is how question nine just goes and we are done. All right, so I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.